mean, is there, there's so many, there's racial disparity within the death penalty. In the state of Maryland, we spent $186 million. It's economically unsound, geographically disparate, racial disparity. I mean, you keep going jurisdictionally. It is across the board. It is not a deterrent. It, it does not help victims as we have once thought. It, uh, it does nothing because there, with life without parole or a life sentence, it does give a little sense of closure. It does not help anyone. And that is the reason when I was asked if I wanted Ruffner to get the death penalty, I said absolutely not. And I'll tell you why. If we execute them, it takes away from their accountability. They are no longer accountable for what they did, only with their life. We still have to live with what they did. Even the bad boys in this world, because I hear stories about we want to keep it for the worst of the worst. It does not happen in this country. It does not. Most people, the majority of the one percenters, do not get the death penalty to start with. And... Um, another reason is, is that 67% of all death penalty cases are in error by technical merit alone. Mm -hmm. Joe Liebman from Columbia University had that study some time ago. I have to tell you, you can take your pick. I sat on a commission in Maryland. I was appointed by the governor of the state, um, uh, Martin O'Malley, uh, another good Catholic boy. And... Uh, found out that it was no way, it's not fairly applied, and it shouldn't be applied at all. And Marshall, you can call me Kirk.